Let's walk through the steps of installing exterior Bahama shutters. This guide is the second in a series that starts with measuring for Bahama shutters. To proceed, you will need several basic tools. Today, we will be installing Bahama shutters on this window. Start by separating the L-shaped top hinge leap from the lower, smaller bracket that will be used later. Align one end of the support hinge with the top left corner of the shutter. Then place a mark on the hinge just slightly beyond the right edge. Cut the hinge at that point with a fine tooth hacksaw. Cutting the hinge may leave burrs and sharp edges, so file until smooth. For a uniform appearance, use black spray paint to conceal the end of the hinge. At the same time, paint the installation screw heads. After the paint dries, drill two holes through the flat back portion of the hinge, one and a half inches from either end. The size should be just large enough to allow for the screw to slide through. Then, evenly space additional holes no more than 10 inches apart. Hold the hinge on the window in the predetermined mounting location. Mark one hole with a pencil on one side of the hinge. Pre-drill at the mark location with a bit slightly smaller than the screw size. Secure one side of the hinge with a screw. Lift the opposite side of the hinge and level. Then pre-drill and insert the remaining screws. Next, mark the lower hinge bracket slightly shorter than the shutter panel width. Cut with a hacksaw, file, and paint. Drill holes one and a half inches from either end and equally spaced in between, no more than 10 inches apart. Hold the hinge in place, centered at the top front face of the shutter. Make sure the louvers are downward facing Mark the first hole location. Pre-drill at the designated point. The shutter is one and a half inches thick, so we recommend not drilling deeper than one inch. Insert and tighten the first screw. Pre-drill and fasten the remaining screws. Slide the shutter into place, inserting the smaller shutter hinge into the end of the overhanging support. Remove the connecting pins of the shutter stay to release the arm from the base brackets. Connect the two end brackets together and position in between the shutter and the window. With the pencil, mark the outer edge of the bracket on the shutter. Do this on both sides of the panel. Remove the shutter from the window and align the bracket on the drawn line on the back of the shutter. We align the bottom of the bracket with the top of the bottom rail, approximately 3 inches from the bottom of the shutter. Pre-drill holes no more than 1 inch deep. Screw in place making sure the pinhole is facing out. Once again, slide the shutter in front of the window. Reconnect the end brackets, close the shutter, pull the connector pin, and mark the location of the holes of the window side brace. Pre-drill and screw into place, again with the pin hole to the outside. Confirm the brackets will nest together. Lift the shutter to the desired angle and measure the distance from the end of one bracket to the other. Release the tension screws on both sides of the support arms. Subtract four and a quarter inches from the desired throw. Measure and cut the central aluminum arm to that length. Replace the end caps 
and loosely tighten the tension screws. Connect the support bar to the window side base with the linchpin. Lift the shutter and screw in the second pin. Tighten the tension screws and repeat the process on the opposite side. To prevent the shutter from sliding out, crimp the ends of the top hinge channel with pliers. Lightly sand any scratches or scrapes that may have happened during installation. Wipe away any dust and use touch-up paint to cover the area. Let dry and the new paint should blend right into the old. Stand back and admire your work. Visit us at Shutterland.com for more information. Please like this video and subscribe to the Shutterland channel if you found this video helpful.